Okay, I wanted to show you guys what I came up with for a kayak trailer. Uh, this is not my kayak trailer. This is actually a trailer made by Malone. It's a really nice, really nice setup. Um, I like the fact that it was very simple. Uh, it looked as though the kayaks would be easy to load. Um, and it was very lightweight. Um, when I looked into it, of course, it was, uh, it was pretty expensive. So they range from about $1,200, $1,300 up to $2,000, uh, depending on the specific model you get and the accessories. Um, so I thought to myself, well, why can't I build something uh, similar to this? Um, I knew I could get a trailer. That wasn't going to be a problem. I had the crossbar and the J-hook already. So I was sort of well on my way uh, to building one of these. So this cross piece, or this uh, support structure that's holding up the crossbar, um, when I called Malone, they were very willing to send me a pair of those, and they were gonna be, I think it was 100, 150 bucks a piece. So it was, it was real expensive. Um, the more I looked at it, the more I said, that looks like a piece that I'm familiar with. And uh, finally, one day it dawned on me that it, it looked an awful lot like a ladder stabilizer. So I looked up online, and boy, when I compared the pictures, it was almost identical. So I'm not saying that's what Malone is using, um, but they're pretty close. Um, so the only the only thing I needed after that was this um, this uh, bracket. Um, I call Malone. Uh, more reasonable was the price for four of those was twenty five bucks. Uh, so I had them sent to me. I went down to Home Depot, got two ladder stabilizers, and wouldn't you know it, the bracket fit on perfectly. Um, I just needed to drill a hole in the uh, st stabilizer. So like I said, I already had the crossbars and the J-hook. All I needed now was a trailer. I went down to um, Harbor Freight and they had their standard four by eight trailers, um, which I didn't, I was gonna get, but then I, I found a smaller trailer uh, and I think it was a 42 by 48. And really all I'm trying to do is mimic um, the roof of my of my car so that I can put my kayaks on. I didn't really need a long trailer. Um, so I ended up getting the smaller one. Um, so pretty simple and uh, had all the pieces. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I came up with for my for my kayak trailer. So there it is, uh, obviously not as nice looking as the Malone, but certainly does the job for me um, like I said it's really lightweight um, I actually hooked this up to my lawn tractor and I can tow it around the yard no problem at all the trailer came with all the lights and everything it came with 8 inch tires which I'll probably upgrade to 12 inch uh, at some point um, but let me show you what I did with the uh, ladder stabilizers so there it is these are ladder stabilizers. They were like 20 bucks a piece down at Home Depot. Um, they came with these brackets, um, which if you look at the Malone website, they have the same bracket. And I ended up bolting them to the trailer as well because I just didn't think the, uh, the bracket would, would be enough su um, support for it. Um, this is the, the bracket that Malone sent me. Um, like I said, it fits on perfectly to that ladder stabilizer, no problem at all. Um, and it clamps around the crossbar, and it's perfect. So I had the, I had the crossbars, and I think mine were 54 inch, and you could put any size you want on. Um, had I had to go out and buy them, I probably would have bought a little longer of a crossbar, but, but these are pretty good. So um, I painted the uh, trailer aluminum. I had some aluminum spray paint, use that. I also added a piece of metal mesh on the bottom. Um, we're able to put our kayaks on, or our, our coolers on there when we're going out for the day. So uh, the only other thing I had to do with the trailer 
was extend the tongue out and I have a uh, buddy who's a welder and he took care of that for me as well as welding the uh, mesh down to the trailer frame so that's it I think I've got uh, $130 for the trailer um, and that came with the lights the wheels um, you know and the connection to your trailer ball the coupling uh, came came with everything um, the ladder stabilizers as I said I bought at Home Depot they were 20 bucks a piece and then these brackets for a set of four was 25 bucks um, that's it you know it's a pretty simple design uh, like I said I'm gonna probably add uh, change out the tires to 12 inch uh, probably, probably have those as a uh, aluminum as well rather than the white I think that'll look nice um, we also added a, a third J bar um, or J hook to the to the uh, trailer and we put our paddle boards on there so we can go out all day long and uh, pull our kayaks around it's not a problem at all so that's it um, I hope if you guys are looking for a, a uh, kayak trailer this may give you some ideas um, like I said YouTube is full of different designs a lot of good stuff out there um, so if you're off to making your own you could do this one for less than 250 bucks so there you go good luck to everybody